All right, I'm starting with an interior shot of uh, my wife's Saturn View engine compartment. What I'm pointing at right here is one of the electrical connections for the ECU. The silver thing here is the ECU itself, and as you can see, there's another electrical connection back there in the dark. Uh, as I zoom out here, you see the entire engine compartment. Uh, what you're looking at here as far as uh, additional parts of the uh, fuel intake system besides your uh, electronic control unit there, which is the brain box of the whole thing. You've also got fuel injectors, which you can't really see. They're in the dark here underneath uh, this intake manifold here. Uh, this big silver thing is the intake manifold. You have your air box over here. Inside the air box, uh, here, let me mount this for you so that it's not shaky camera work. And uh, then I'll pull that air box open and we can see what's inside there. There we go. All right. We can see everything. Cool. All right. So uh, you've got to undo a screw here, which I've already done. It's a standard screw. There's two clips on the side, and then you push the air box uh, forward and tilt it, and it pops out like that. So that's the top of the air box. Um, I'll just set that there. Inside it, you have an air filter. My air filter is brand new because I just cleaned it, or rather, I just replaced it for my wife. Um, and then let me show you the inside of this air box. I'm gonna bring you back over here on the tripod. Okay, check this out. Okay, so here you see this is the inside of the air box and if you look down inside, you can see there's a big old hole down there and that hole is where the cold air comes into the air box underneath the filter. It then hits the filter, goes through the filter, gets filtered and then gets sucked along this intake tube and into the intake manifold. All right, I'm gonna set you back down here. Cool, okay. So, air gets, cold air gets sucked in, gets filtered, goes through this uh, tubing, hits the throttle body right here. The throttle body has an MAP sensor on it. That's a manifold absolute pressure sensor on that. And what that does is that talks back to this ECU and helps measure how much air is actually flowing into your intake manifold here. It's a great big silver thing. So air flows along here, goes through your throttle body, into the intake manifold, fuel injectors shoot fuel into that air mixture, and then it all gets sucked into the cylinders where it explodes. Uh, so, overview again. Uh, you've got an ECU and fuel injectors, and a mass, uh, this is a manifold absolute pressure sensor, and they all talk um, in addition to some other sensors that the ECU communicates with, and the ECU figures out the right amount of fuel to mix in with the air that's coming in. That all gets mixed up here in the intake manifold and then sucked into the cylinders uh, by the vacuum that's being created by the cylinder, uh, the piston moving down inside the cylinder. Um, and that's it. So the, your key terms here are ECU, you've got an air box, you've got an air filter, you have uh, coming along here, you have a throttle body, you have a manifold absolute pressure sensor, that's a MAP sensor. You also might have an MAF sensor, which is a mass airflow sensor. That will be mounted here. It uh, is a different way of doing the same job that the MAP sensor does. So you'll have either or on an, uh, a fuel injected car. So after your, um, your throttle body here comes into your intake manifold, the fuel injectors that are underneath squirt a uh, fuel mist into the air, it gets all mixed up together and sucked into the cylinders where it's ignited. And that's it.